subversion budget and today we're going to be talking about all my categories so this is my second time filming this video because the first time i filmed this video which was like weeks ago it came out really blurry so i had to start all over again and i low-key been procrastinating to actually film this video because not only am I going to be explaining my categories here, I'm also going to be talking about the reason as to why I also changed my name formally from the Love Dollar now to Flourish and Budgets. The reason why I changed my name is simply because I just felt like it did not really align with me anymore of being like the Lux Dollar because like at first when I was creating my name I was actually trying to figure out a name as quickly as possible because how I felt is that if I don't like have a name that I'm just gonna find an excuse as to why I don't start like my YouTube channel so it kind of came as a rush for me to come up with um deluxe dollar and also like I also discovered as well that um there was another deluxe dollar but it was different spelling and I kind of wanted to like be original with my name um well not really original but more like I just wanted to be like the only person who had that name so when I found that out like I was kind of just like okay like there is another um deluxe dollar and i don't really align with that name so i'm just like okay yeah i think it's time to change and i honestly love like flourish and budgets because it just really stands for like honestly what i believe in because i believe that we are all made to flourish and grow and with doing that like we're also budgeting too so yes that's why I love my new name now. So that's basically like a short explanation as to why I changed my name. So now we're gonna get straight into the explanation. So first we're gonna get straight into my wallet to explain my categories. And most of these categories that I'm gonna explain are really self-explanatory, so it won't really be much explanation. So like spending, for example, this is basically um, just money that I give myself um, after bills and like savings and whatnot. That is basically like my guilty free money that I have. Then groceries, which is self-explanatory. Gas, self-explanatory. Personal is basically um, not necessarily like just personal means it's just more like for me to replenish i guess like anything that i have that's personal so if there's something new that i need in personal it's not going to be in this category it's actually going to be in a different category but this is just basically for me to like replenish things that i have then household is basically anything relating to the house um so even including like toiletries i know some people had like their toiletries separated but i just want to just keep it all in one category so anything relating to the house will be in household so beauty technically beauty is actually my self-care um envelope so this is when like let's say if i want to like get my nails done um, get a massage whatever that's relating to like my self-care it would be in this category and eventually I do want to like change this to be self-care instead of beauty and when that happens you guys will see it um, shopping self-explanatory and my tides um, just in case um, you guys um, don't know what tides are if you're not Christian um, this is basically um, money that is given to my church, which is basically like 10% of my income. So that's why whenever you guys see my budget with me, 
I always just like um, take like 10% of my paycheck in which I give that to my church. So that is that with my wallet. Next, we're going to get into the bills, which most of these bills are going to be self-explanatory. So for example, my car loan is for my car. Internet, self-explanatory. Phone, I don't really stuff phone too much because um, lately, because um, my mom technically pays for the phone bill um, and she hasn't been asking me um, to give her any money, but eventually when I do have like a lot of money saved up, I will basically like be helping her um, with the phone bill. But for right now, this is always going to be empty for the most part. Um, debt. So I do have like a lot of debt. Um, it's not really active debt. It's more like um, cards that I had that were charged off. And um, I do have to pay um, those back. So that's what this envelope is for. Um, next is wellness. So wellness is a category that I have for many things. Um, and those things are for my gym membership. Um, I also pay for health insurance, uh, not health insurance, excuse me, like dental and eye insurance. So um, with that, I basically put it all in wellness just to make it one category. And subscriptions, I only have two subscriptions, which is like Spotify and the iCloud. So that's the money that would go in here. And that is that for the Bells binder. Next is going to be my high priority binder of what's in here. So my month ahead, um, so self-explanatory, um, this is basically um, for me to be a month ahead in my bills and the goal is $700 for this. rainy day so everyone has their own different ways of having a rainy day in this case my rainy day is going to be for any time I'm like short on like my paycheck uh, for me to like make up for bills and the reason that I would take money from here would only be if I called out due to me being sick or if I had to go on vacation um, so this is what this money is for for kind of like a rainy day <laughs> so and auto care so self-explanatory basically like car maintenance um, I'm thinking if I ever want to have like a car wash one but basically money comes from like anytime I need a car wash it will come from here I should say annuals so annuals is basically anything that is due at the end of the year so this will be like my gym membership um any car tags and this also was for like any <clears throat> excuse me for any subscriptions that i have that are annual um as of right now i don't have any annual subscriptions so right now it would just really be for if i have like for my car tags and for my um annual fee that i have to pay for my gym membership next is miscellaneous so miscellaneous for me is actually my oh shoot fund um so this is basically for like any like unexpected expenses that obviously are not budgeted that I would basically pull from here. Um, so far, I haven't stuffed this because like, I'm more trying to focus on being one month ahead. And definitely after being one month ahead, that will be when I will stuff for um, the rainy day and for miscellaneous. And this came about simply because um, I remember like the beginning of the year, both my license was about to expire as well as my passport was going to expire 
So I was thinking to myself, I was like, it would be so much easier and more convenient if I had like a miscellaneous so that way I didn't have to wait until I got paid to take care of those things. So I just say, you know what, I'm just gonna have a miscellaneous so that way when something like that was to have is to happen, that I would basically have the money already ready for that. Um health. So I do not have like health insurance um since I do work part time. So with that being said, like this is basically anything related to like me basically paying out of pocket for me to go to the doctor or for any like medications that I would need and whatnot. So that's what this is for. Um dental, so like I said in my bills, um I do have like dental insurance so this is for like if anything was to come out of pocket like whether there's like co-pays or if I um have to pay for like fillings or anything so this would be for dental and eye care so I have eye insurance and um this is basically for like any like co-pays or if I need new glasses or contacts because eventually I do want to go back to wearing contacts so I'll basically pull money from here. Education. So I am planning to go back to school and um, I actually do have like student loans, but that was for when I was in beauty school. But now I'm gonna like actually go back to like college, like to get my bachelor's degree. So for with that being said, like my student loans are actually paused at the moment um so i'm basically stuffing this for like basically if there's any like expenses that i'll need while i'm in school and at the same time like of course like if um like after school like of course i still have my student loans so whatever like remaining of course i will all go to student loans and hopefully if i don't need anything while i'm in school i would just keep stuffing it so that way when student loans resume at least i have like money in here to pay for those and retirement so i do have a roth ira and basically like i don't really stuff this as aggressively as i should but whenever I have like um, a few dollars like after like budgeting, I basically put money towards like this as well as investments, which I'll get to. So that's for that. And basically for both like retirement as well as investments here, I won't take money out of this until it reaches, depending on my mood, if it reaches like either 50 or 100, that will be when I'll take money out of this and deposit it into my Roth IRA and with like investments like I mostly invest my money into like um stocks or like EFTs I think that's what it's called or ETFs one of the two one of those things <laughs> but I basically invest my money into those um so that's what that is and that's that for the high priority binder so next is my family binder in which me so this is basically my envelope where um i guess you could say like this is kind of like a treat yourself but this is basically like money that i'll basically put in here for me to like spoil myself and whatnot or um this could also be used as like a sinking fund for like personal spending so this is basically what this category is for my my so this is for my boyfriend so this is my, um a common nickname that he always gets called is my my i also have like another nickname for him but that's literally between me and him it's actually a very weird nickname, so that's why it's just between him and I. And um, this envelope is basically like if I ever want to like spoil him or um, anything like that, that I would basically like take money from here 
to basically use on him. Um, so kids spending. So I do not have any kids, but I do want to save up for kids expenses when it's time, you know, when I do eventually have kids. So um, with that, like and in time, I really like stuff in this category. This is basically for like future expenses for them. So of course, like um, before I get pregnant, I would love to like have like money set aside for any expenses, whether that could be used for like the baby shower or like any clothes, cribs, like whatever, because of course like having a baby is super expensive. So I definitely want to save up from now to have those expenses ready. Um, my savings, self-explanatory, this is basically my savings. And um, what's actually cool that like I do, um, I don't know if you guys peep um, ever in like my cash stuffing, but um, whenever I would have money like left over from spending, I would actually put it in my savings and I feel like, you know, why not? Because whatever money is not used that, you know, is my um, guilt-free like spending, I just put it back in my savings. I would put it back in or put it in my me but I really need to start like actually saving money so that's why I just decided to just put it in here and my my savings so again that's for my boyfriend um I don't stuff that with my money um this is gonna be for like if he ever wants me to hold money for him for savings because um I've actually told him about like cash stuffing and sometimes he watches my videos too to kind of like more or less learn what it's all about and um with me like basically like explaining to him like cash stuffing he said that he was um down to do it um definitely like when we live together like that'll be something that like him and I would do together and I'll basically teach him and one of the things that he was actually excited to like try was the hundred dollar or hundred envelope challenge especially because you would save like five thousand dollars after that so yeah um kid savings so this is gonna go towards like my future kids' future and honestly i don't think like i'm gonna stuff this for now i'll probably start stuffing this when i am pregnant or after like i actually have my kids um baby winston so this is for my future niece or nephew and the reason why it's titled baby winston because i actually don't know the gender as well as like um the name for the baby well i have name well i was told like names but obviously because we don't know the gender we don't know the name yet so when i do find out like the gender as well as the name of the baby this will be changed into like a vellum but for right now it will just be baby winston um parents is this is basically like a sinking funds for whenever like either my mom's in town or if i ever want to spoil my boyfriend's mom i'll basically pull from here entertainment so self-explanatory for like any type of like entertainment whether that's with family myself and whatnot wedding so self-explanatory this is basically a savings for a future wedding for me and gifts so gifts is basically for any occasion that i feel like giving a gift for as well as like um any like birthdays that are coming up um that's not for immediate family or my boyfriend i would basically pull from here for anything like that and that is that for my family binder last but not least is my low priority binder so new home this is for eventually when i move out so I do still live with my mom and it kind of sounds confusing, especially how I just said, like whenever she's in town. Um, so my mom is a travel nurse. So like 
whenever like she's back home is basically what I'm trying to say like when she's in town because <laughs> currently she's in New York but um, eventually I do want to move out so um, this is for me to eventually move out um, I haven't really been stuffing this at all or like aggressive as I should um, simply because like it is a low priority for me because at least you know I still have a roof over my head and again since I'm going back to school I know that it's going to be a lot for me to be at that point where I could actually like you know freely stuff um, out towards this so that's why it's kind of a low priority because again I still have a roof over my head it's not like a major uh, necessity for me to move out but definitely I do want to move out and eventually I do want to like actually do like a savings challenge towards having like my own place but when we get to that point you guys will know what savings challenge that would be birthdays so this is literally for birthdays such as mine or immediate family members or my boyfriend and Christmas self-explanatory holidays um this is towards like any holidays that i celebrate with family because there are some holidays that i actually don't celebrate so this is basically like towards like any holidays that i celebrate or my family celebrates wardrobe so this is basically for like clothing shoes bags um so my favorite thing to actually buy is actually handbags because there i know that it's either like with us girls it's either we love handbags we love shoes or we love perfumes my thing is handbags like i literally have like bags for days <laughs> so yeah um home essentials so this is basically for um basically this is like both a sinking funds um for like my household as well like for me to like pull out money from that as well as like um this is also like towards like if I ever want to like decorate my, my room or the house or whatnot so that's what home essentials is for vacation self-explanatory self-care um is basically like a sinking funds um, for me to save up towards like taking care of myself or well, not necessarily take care of myself but more like um, getting my hair done nails done whatever of that nature so that will come from this and last but not least this savings one is basically for whatever savings challenge that I'm doing um, at this time I'm actually doing a savings challenge um, so since I actually do have a buffer, originally this was actually for a buffer, but depending on if I am a month ahead or not, this will either go towards my month ahead when I'm finished, or it will go towards like paying extra debt when I'm finished with this. And this little like mini savings challenge is actually from Jasmine's wallet. And I got this as like a freebie. I'm not sure if she actually sells it but definitely like check out her website which is linked down below if you guys are interested so yeah that was it with me explaining my categories it's actually not as long as i thought because i remember the first time i was filming this it literally was like almost an hour and i was just like what and then i realized that like it was mostly because of when I was explaining about my name, but I decided to just really like cut it short of like explaining like why I changed my name. So yeah, um, if you guys um, love this and hopefully you were inspired um, by these categories, um, eventually I do want to add more categories and maybe another binder, but when that time comes you guys will see. But yes, if you guys love this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe just so we can have more family members. And yeah, I hope you
you guys enjoy the rest of your day, week, or night. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. God bless. And bye.